the genealogy <laughs> industry is dramatically growing thanks to popular websites like Ancestry.com and 23andMe. It's estimated the number of people who have tested DNA with those at-home kits doubled last year to more than 12 million. Our own Alex Wagner recently researched her own origins and identity. She's the only child of a Burmese mother and American father. His roots trace back to Ireland and Luxembourg. Wagner chronicles her search for answers in her new book. It's called Future Face. I love this title. A family mystery, an epic quest, and the secret of belonging. Alex Wagner, welcome to the table as a guest. Thank you. It's a pleasure so, to be here as a guest and an author. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. I wondered, Thank you. I've wondered if your whole life that you've had to spend your time addressing who you are. I remember the first time I saw you on TV. Is she black? Is she biracial? Is yeah. she... Yeah. Is she, what is, is she? she Latino? What is she? And you tell a great story in the book that your dad, who obviously looks white, had gone to the bathroom and somebody looked over at you and said, are you adopted? Someone else asked yeah. you, what's your blood? Yeah. I, I, that moment in the diner was kind of a revelation. You you a I was 12. Yeah. I was 12. And my dad had gone to the restroom and I was asked by the line cook, are you adopted? And it was the first time I thought, oh, wait a second, maybe everyone else doesn't see me as generically American as I understand myself to be. And as I grew older, Gail, to your point, you know, this kind of exotic hapa yeah, future she? face, right? That's what I was. And that was exciting and interesting and fun. But at a certain point, especially as I got older, I wanted, th that felt too rootless. I wanted meaning. I wanted to find a sense of belonging and identity. And that's what this book is. It's Did a quest to find Did you think of yourself that. as white? Because you said, I like Chips Ahoy, Saved by the Bell. I like things that you said. <laughs> what, black are... people don't like Saved by the Bell? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, definitively. Um, Garfield? Uh, you know, I do think that I... I was raised in a largely white community. I identified more with white culture. Yeah. And I began asking myself, why, where is the Burmese side of my history? Where yeah. does it, where is that made manifest? Alex, were you looking for your place in the American story or in any story? I wanted to find myself situated in the American story. In part, I mean, I think all Americans, especially right now, want to find themselves in the American story. We're so fractured as a country. There is such a question about identity. Who belongs here? What is the immigrant story? And how does it dovetail with the American story? That's a fundamental question right now, right? And I wanted to find out what kind of American am I, which means who were my American forefathers? Right, there is that cliche, we are a nation of immigrants, but what you found is th that's the cliche, but it's not the way we live. As yeah, Americans. well, and I think also a lot is lost when you immigrate to America. And that is partly by necessity, but also because we like to exfoliate the bad parts of our story. And what I did was go back to the homelands and find the ugly parts of the story and write about them. Because I think part of becoming whole is accounting for all the sins and all the warts and all the fissures that are part of everybody's story. In this no, country. and you put in the book, you said, my, fam my people are weak, dishonest, stupid, and corrupt. Yep. Hello, family. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, look. We did some bad things in the places on both we sides, left behind yeah. on, on both, both sides. sides, in Europe and in Asia. And I think it is about coming to terms with the things we left that were broken, that we didn't just arrive here on American shores, virtuous, perfect immigrants, virtuous new citizens of a country. We had our own baggage. And, and part of this moment, I think, is reconciling that American baggage. And you talk about uh, America and defining it as either a melting pot or a salad. Yeah. And yeah. They, it seems trivial, but it's not. No, it is a big distinction because the melting pot assumes that we all kind of get sanded down, that rough edges are made smooth. The salad bowl recognizes that we're all sort of different individual people and different individual ingredients. But the question is, how does that all coalesce? How does that all become one thing? I mean, that's the fundamental question we're asking in America. We're all so different. We all taste and look and smell and sound and believe different things. How do we make a democracy out of that? And you dedicated to your favorite son, your only son. My baby born, son. For Sai, of course. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you said home is really where you are for yeah. you. Yeah. You know, right Gail, we, we are so preoccupied with the future in some ways, and we are obsessed with the past. And it is important to know that the real history of the past and our true histories but this is our time on planet earth That's right, and yeah. this is our story and i'm all about doubling down on the present Your husband sam was here yesterday you're here today so i will be here tomorrow with this new finger alex congratulations thank you so much future face is available today wherever you like to buy your books